Hey, what's up, people? Michael, back here again. Uh, yep, so you already know, this time of the year, not lots of new releases. I'm sorry, not not, but there are a lot of new releases. So we came out yesterday, I believe it was yesterday. Today is October 6, 2011. And we came out yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, was Dark Souls. This is the sequel to Demon Souls, which was a PS3 exclusive when that came out. Now they decided to bring it to both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, if you don't know too much about Dark Souls, I'm pretty sure if you look that game up, the biggest thing you're going to find is that the difficulty for that game is insanely challenging. Um, and I, could, I can attest to that, seeing as I only played maybe 20 minutes of this and died three times <laughs> by the same freaking enemy. Alright, so yeah, anyway. Once you start off the game, you're immediately told to create a character. So, create a little um, pyromancer character here. Name him Michael, of course. Male, gift, physique, all this other stuff. Uh, the game is definitely deep. Um, right off the bat, I just want to say I'm not really into these types of games. Like these whole, uh, I don't know what you call it, Dungeons and Dragons type game. I don't, I don't know what this is, but yeah, I had a buddy of mine. He's been talking about it nonstop for a while. He even pre-ordered it. Um, and he bought the game yesterday full price. So I would not do that Unless of course you are just insanely excited about this game. That's just me though. Like I said, this is me I'm not really into this. Anyway. Yeah, so enough of me rambling back to the game uh, You got some kind of gift here. Then you got the physique. I just went ahead and chose average <laughs> Oops, my bad So yeah, this game is pretty I don't I don't know what you can compare it to um it is what it's it's its own type of game, I I guess you could say. <laughs> Something not right about the look of that guy. <laughs> oh man. But I went ahead of course and chose him anyway. Hmm, he is too happy. So then you even got stuff like hairstyles that you can choose from. The yeah, Dark Souls. Um, this is, I'm not sure who makes it. I know Namco and Bandai publish it. Namco Bandai, I'm sorry. Publishes the game. Um, yeah, from what I can tell, I didn't really glance at it. Like I said, I don't really care too much about this game. But the reviews all seem pretty good. Anyway, this is the opening movie. I'm just going to quiet down here and let you watch that and hear that. Then I will be back as soon as the gameplay starts. So yeah, um, yep, check it out. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten.
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Anyway, so that was the opening sequence, and the gameplay really starts to come in now. The dark sign brands the undead. But yeah, so what I played, I think I only played like the first 20, 30 minutes of it, which you see here in this video is how far I actually got to play. Because I kept dying. Not only did I kept dying, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, didn't know where to go. Then there's this big ass dragon. Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna see the dragon. You are gonna see it. Anyway, so you start off in a cell locked up. I'm not sure if this is exactly excuse me. Um not sure if this is exactly picking up where Demon Souls left off. As far as story goes, maybe, maybe not. But I, if I'm not mistaken, I do think I remember the creator talking about it's not a direct sequel. So yeah. Anyway, a blessing from the sky. Who is it? Who knows? But they're giving you the way out. Anyway. Immediately start the game. Pretty cool hood. Good thing it's not pointing up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you get a dungeon key. Um, immediately when I started playing, I was pretty impressed with the visuals, the graphics. Some kind of unique look. Not too bad at all. Some kind of taunt, I suppose, when you hit the X button. By the way, I'm playing on Xbox 360. So these little things across the floor, this is a tutorial level, I assume. When you walk over it, you're trying to learn the controls, RB, attack. Eh, it'll show all that anyway. So anyway, since I read that message. There you go. So RB to attack. They got these things inside this dungeon or prison cell I don't know what those are zombies demons don't know but you see them you attack them right trigger strong attack yep we don't play those games and we keep it moving so this is how to run or dash as they say do, 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 Target lock. Click down the right stick. So for the most part, this entire level or opening is like a tutorial level. It's not much to it. Um, yeah. Oh man, I'm so tired. Hey, this is also something else I picked up from Redbox. Two dollars a night. Um, yeah, Redbox is like my biggest friend now. Like, it's crazy. You cannot beat $2 a night. Instead of paying $60 for a game, you might not even like. Gamefly is cool and all too, but yeah, I ain't got the time for Gamefly. You know, you got an achievement unlocked for lighting a bonfire. Pretty uh, easy there. And we keep it moving. Top left hood. That uh, pinkish kind of purplish color that's your health 
Green is your stamina. It goes down by running, blocking, attacking, pretty much everything. And of course, I'm going to break these pots. And we keep it moving. And we see something. Holy crap! Where the hell did that big ass demon come from? Anyway, as you can see, this game is no joke. As I'm just randomly getting hit. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. It just said get away. Bam! We found a door. I ain't messing with that big ass demon. I don't even know. If you gotta fight that later, that's gonna be insanely... I don't even know how... How, how would you even fight something like that? Anyway, I got fireballs, but they don't seem to let me use it yet. Ugh, unless I just don't know how to use it. So we get a shield, because some dude is shooting arrows. Right there, highlighted. Bam. Now we got to equip it. It's taking me a while to figure out. Hit the start button, bam. Change equipment. Left hand, right hand. It's real uh, detailed and deep on how they do this stuff. I can already tell I don't have the time nor patience for these types of games. I can't play it. I just can't devote that much time to one video game. That's just me though. Anyway, we keep moving. Figured out how to block. Left bumper. Oh, he's running. Yeah, you know I got that shield. You know I got that shield. And we got an axe. Um, I should have equipped it there. Didn't know. It's my mistake. Yeah, I started to realize after he wasn't dying so quickly. I was like, hmm, this weapon's kind of weak. I think I need to run and it changed my equipment. No, no, I didn't run at first. I tried to do it there. Nope, the game doesn't pause. It continues. Pretty crazy. You still got the arrows in your body. Oh, talk about ultraviolet. And he got right back up. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who does that? So we move now. I need to equip that damn axe. Much stronger. Much better. So whoops my ass. Done. And we are in the next part. So I can see even rolling takes down your stamina. That's something you definitely want to pay attention to because you never know you might be in heat of battle and you're all exhausted, leaving you wide open. And I don't know what happens here, but I get fucked up so much that I go back and he breaks the wall. Check it out, though. Hold on. Alright, here we go. I don't know what the heck that was. Maybe that was pre-scripted. But, yeah. Then we got some dying fellow undead. Listen up to this. You. You're no hollow, hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. 
and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. What the know. hell is he saying? Like, really? <laughs> I'm just listening to this like, wow, I can't believe people really used to talk like this. Here, take this. And Taketh flask, thy controller. An undead favorite. And plummeth thy trigger into oh, enemy's face. Okay, so we took some stuff from him. Now I must bid farewell. Got the key. Now we can move on. After death. You know, with me, so I'm not the type of person, you know, just leaves somebody dying slow. So what would I do? Hmm. I'll tell you what I'll do. There we go. Easier pain. And we got a lot of points or whatever that is. Bottom right. Every time you kill something, you rack up. Either souls or number or something, you know. Anyway, so go back upstairs. Now that we got that key. We can move on. Oh, not fooling me this time. Using my shield. Okay, he had a sword. He's just two swings right there already depleted my entire stamina. Somebody with an arrow. Mess him up. Plunging attack. Anyway, inside this room is a very difficult. Uh, I wouldn't say boss, but an enemy outside. I would say. Cause he totally see this. My see, I wasn't even paying attention to the health until it was too late, and all of a sudden. He's trying to take a drink and shit. He fucks me up. Bam. I'm dead. Already. What the hell happened? Don't know. But we're going to restart this shot. So we definitely don't go back there. It's pretty crazy where they start me at. All the way back here. So I have to get my ass handled enough times. But that enemy with the shield. Kind of skip ahead and just decide to. Completely not even run into him. But that was also a bad idea. Seeing as the big ass dragon comes back. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking around like, hold on, it's on him, demon. I don't see nobody. Where is he? Can I go back? No. But that's pretty much Dark Souls. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and of course subscribe. And he killed me again already. This game is so hard. I won't even be playing it again. So now that's not the reason. I just really don't like this game.